Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati was a lay faithful who fell in love with Christ. He lived in Turin, Italy, and he loved mountain climbing. He was extremely devoted to Mary and the Eucharist, through which he gained a love full as a member of the Order of St. Dominic. He prayed the Rosary daily and received the Eucharist daily. He was an extremely generous, humble, and loving layperson who cared especially for the sick, poor, elderly, and vulnerable. He died at the age of 24 from contracting polio from a sick man whom he had helped. At Pierre Giorgio's funeral, thousands of homeless crowded the streets to visit. His mother and father had known none of them, but they never knew that Giorgio cared for all of them. Because he had done this, his father was shocked after he left the church, and although he was never religious, he immediately converted because he never realized how much of a secret, authentic life Pierre Giorgio was leading. In 1981, Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frusati's body was exhumed and found absolutely incorrupt. His limbs were still flexible and soft, and his skin was fresh, as if he had been asleep for the past eight decades and had just woken up. In 1990, Pope John Paul II beatified the young man and declared him as patron for the youth and saint of the Beatitudes. Everyday life. At the age of 13, Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frusati joined the Marian Solitary and the Apostleship of Prayer. He obtained permission to receive daily communion. Corpus Christi. Amen. He was a member of the St. Vincent de Paul Society. At the age of 18, Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frisati joined the Third Order of St. Dominic. He decided to become a mining engineer so that he could serve Christ better among the miners. He was not a great student, but Pierre Giorgio Fusati studied hard to make his family proud. Blessed Pierre Giorgio Fusati had a group of friends that he did everything with especially mountain climbing, including the woman he loved and desired to marry, named Laura Hidalgo. Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frisati would pray the rosary every day. However, sometimes though, he would fall asleep while praying. The Eucharist, like he said, was the most important part of Pier Giorgio's day. Blessed Pier Giorgio Frisati's life was centered around Christ's most sacred heart, God's love, mercy, forgiveness, gratitude, generosity, and all virtues 
and especially the joyfulness. Blessed Pierre Giorgio Fusati conducted polio from a sick man whom he had helped. Blessed Pierre Giorgio Fusati's grandmother was dying at the same time as he was sick from polio. And he completely gave up himself and cared for his grandmother rather than his own sickness. the eve of his death, he gave the medicine he was supposed to take to another man whom he helped, who needed the medicine, who he decided needed it more than he did. This is the letter he wrote. The blessed Pierre Giorgio Fusari's death was short and unexpected let this not sadden us. He was a very extremely joyful man. As said earlier, the day of his funeral, thousands of people were gathered in the streets honoring their beloved friend, Pier Giorgio Frassati. Most of the people at his funeral over hundreds of them were the sick whom he had nurtured, loved, and cared for. In 1981, Blessed Pierre Giorgio Fasadi's body was exhumed and found absolutely incorrupt. And finally, in 1990, Pope John Paul II beatified Blessed Pierre Giorgio Fasadi as patron of the youth and saint of the Beatitudes. The life he lived is full of excitement, love and mercy, and especially the heart of Christ, Mother Mary and the Eucharist. In honor of Blessed Pierre Giorgio Fasani and for the love of God, we must be joyful as he was and to love our neighbor as ourselves, to fulfill the Beatitudes each day, glorifying God throughout our lives. We can pray to Blessed Pierre Giorgio Fasadi and ask him for all the graces we need, and we can also pray for him, and hopefully God may canonize him as well as the Pope, so that he may all become a great saint. And be a great example to all of our lives to do good, to be happy, to glorify God no matter who we are, where we are, what we are, and even how we are or why we are. Thank you for watching and we hope that this movie truly inspired you to grow closer to God and to venerate Blessed Pierre Giorgio Fasadi to pray to him and pray for him that he may be canonized and that we may all grow in deeper relationships with God, all the angels and saints and truly humble ourselves before Jesus and Mary and to be complete stewards of Christ, merciful loving and to evangelize our, uh, ourselves and to be good stewards, merciful people, and faithful servants of Christ our Lord. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Peace be with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Goodbye.